So this story is, uh, it's the, uh, a little context. It's, it's kind of a shallow story to start. I couldn't think of anything else, but it actually kind of ends with some depth. So it's the story of the last day of high school for me. Um, now, a little, more, a little more context, I went to an all-boys school. That sucked. Uh, when I got to college, I was way behind socially. Um, and I also went to school in New Orleans. That matters a little bit later on. So when we, in my high school, we had seven periods, uh, seven classes, but we had six a day. So one class every day we didn't have, most of the days. Um, as a sophomore and as a junior and senior, we had a free period, which means you can do whatever you want. You can sleep, you can study, you can hang out with friends. I played poker a lot during the free period, which was illegal, but I still did it. Um, and again, you can do whatever you want, but you couldn't leave school unless it was the last period of the day, because then you don't have to come back, so you can do whatever you want. So the uh, mecca was if you got the free period on the last as the last period on a Friday, right? Because it's like leaving work early. You can, you know, you get to start your weekend early. Well, for three years, I never had that happen to me. Um, I had friends. Now, I was a little bit of an introvert, so I didn't really have a lot of friends, but the few friends I had uh, would tell me about how they, oh, they got to start their weekend early. I didn't. Uh, and then the next weekend, it's the same thing, and I'm like, oh, man. Like, this sucks. I, I, I mean, I know that's like, it's a very simple thing, right? But still, little things in life make you a little happier. So I'm looking at it in senior year. I'm like, oh, it's going to happen. Well, Hurricane Katrina rolls through. And uh, <laughs> I know it's, it's kind of a, a pri not really, shouldn't be behind the priorities, you know, house floods. But I'm mad that I can't start my weekend early. Um, but uh, so school opens back up, and then obviously I'm thinking about it. I'm like, it's not going to happen for me. And again, this is such a small thing, but it's not going to happen for me. I'm never going to get that Friday last period off. I can go home, start my weekend. Well, I was planning ahead, and I was looking ahead, and I'm still, you know, a glutton for punishment. And I'm thinking that's not going to happen. And then I look, oh, the last day of school, it's going to happen. I'm going to get that period off. So 210 rolls around and the last class is done and I don't really have any exams to study for because I'm a senior and who studies for exams when they're a senior, right? Uh, and I'm about to leave and the principal is waiting at the door and he says, where are you going? And I said, I'm, I have a free period, I'm leaving, I'm done. He says, no, we have a, a mandatory meeting with all the seniors in the courtyard, you can't leave. And I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> and so, I go outside because I'm not, you know, I'm not going to fight him. He's the principal, and I'm this close to graduation. I go outside. We're all standing in line. Very structured situation. We're all thinking we're in trouble. And the principal points to the courtyard, and he says, everyone look behind you. Walk that way. And we can't see what's going on. It's like a big field. It's, it's, it's a grass field, and, and uh, there's some trees that are kind of blocking the view. So we're kind of passing the trees, and it's like two or three acres of just grass. And then we see inflatable water slides, burger like tables, pizza, uh, a football field set up, kickball, dodgeball, you know, whatever a high school boy would theoretically want aside from drinking and trying to have sex, this is it. <laughs> so <laughs> for the next two and a half hours, I got to spend more quality time with people that I really didn't get to meet that well. Um, or get to know that well. And it taught me a lesson that if my ch plans change, that's not a bad thing. Because what I thought was going to make my day that day, which was getting out of school early, what made my day was being able to spend quality time with people that I hadn't gotten to know that well right before graduation. So that is what made my day on the last day of school.